with a price tag of 250 bucks. Should you grab the JBL Tour Pro 2 or should you go with the crowd favorite, the AirPods Pro 2? Let's find out. So first, let's start off with the biggest difference between the two, which is their charging case. JBL has made waves with their new smart display design, which allows you to control basically every setting the earbuds have to offer directly from the case. So instead of diving into the JBL app on your phone, you can use the case as your dedicated control center. Now to a lot of people, this smart display case is going to seem redundant. And in some cases it may or may not be, but there are some scenarios where the case is actually really beneficial. For example, if you're connected to a computer or to a TV, you don't have access to the JBL app. So in that case, being able to control everything from the charging case itself is pretty convenient. Now I do have a full review on the JBL Tour Pro 2, which I recommend you check out after you watch this video to get a better understanding if the smart display design is something that actually makes sense for you. I'll put the link to that video in the description. Now, as far as size, the difference between the two cases is not all that shocking. The AirPods are slimmer and more compact, but you're not gonna have an issue fitting either into a pocket. As far as charging, an obvious difference is that the AirPods charge via a lightning cable and the Tour Pro 2 via a Type-C cable. Both cases have wireless charging, so no sacrifices there if that's a must have feature for you. One thing that sets the AirPod case apart is the tracking ability. So the case itself has a speaker. So assuming that you have an iPhone, you can cause the case to make a really high pitched sound to help you locate it. And if you're in the general area, you can literally get turn by turn directions to the exact location of the case. As far as the earbuds, you can also cause these to make a very high pitched sound if you need help locating them, which is a feature that the JBL Tour Pro 2 have in common. Now, really quick, let's talk controls. So the JBL Tour Pro 2 are using touch controls and the AirPods are using squeeze controls. Both work great and are extremely user friendly. The main difference is that you get access to everything with the AirPods, including volume, Whereas with the JBL, you have to pick and choose between playback controls, volume controls, and ambient sound control. And this has been the case for JBL earbuds for quite some time. So I'm not sure when they'll decide to give us access to everything at once. When it comes to Bluetooth connection, in my full review of the Tour Pro 2, I did mention that there've been some occasions where the earbuds randomly pause my music. I'm not sure if this is an isolated event or if anybody else has or will experience this, but it is something that I've noticed. And as long as I've owned the AirPods Pro 2, I've never experienced anything like that. Now, one advantage with the Tour Pro 2 in terms of Bluetooth is the fact that they have multi-point connection. So you're able to connect the earbuds to two devices at the exact same time with the AirPods the closest you're gonna to get to that is being able to seamlessly switch between other Apple devices. So definitely something to keep in mind if you're someone that does a lot of multitasking. As far as battery life, the numbers are pretty close. With noise cancellation turned on, the Tour Pro 2 are gonna give you around eight hours on a single charge with an additional 24 from the case. And the AirPods are gonna give you around six hours on a single charge with an additional 30 from the case. So the JBL gives you more per charge battery life, whereas the Apple give you more reserve battery life. In terms of water resistance, the JBL have an IPX5 rating and the AirPods have an IPX4 rating. So they're both water resistant in case you're a very active person. Now really quick, let's talk fit. Now the fit on these is very similar, especially since they're so close in terms of design. But if I had to pick one, just based on fit alone, for me, it would be the AirPods Pro 2. If you notice, the AirPods have more of a curve that angles down into the stem, which I think helps it hug the ear just a little bit better compared to the Tour Pro 2. As far as working out and hitting the gym, neither of these would be my go-to choice, but as far as normal daily activity, again, I would pick the AirPods. So let's go ahead and move on to sound quality obviously a big ticket item when it comes to a pair of earbuds. 
So straight out of the box, the sound between the two is not strikingly different. I think they're both nicely balanced. You get some nice detail, nice clarity, nice touch of bass without it being over the top. But when it comes to customizing the sound, that's where the Tour Pro 2 have the advantage. Inside the JBL app, you can create your own custom presets and you can get as specific as you want. Now, there are ways that you can EQ the AirPods as well, but they don't have nearly as much range to play with like the Tour Pro 2. With these, you can really shift the sound almost any way you want. If you want them to be bass heavy, you can bring out some aggressive, hard hitting sub bass. If you'd rather fine tune the sound and really brighten up the treble and clarity, you can do that as well. No matter which way you want to go, the earbuds have enough range to make it happen. So for me, if I had to pick one set solely based on sound quality alone, it would be the Tour Pro 2. So let's go ahead and talk active noise cancellation. Overall, the performance is excellent on both. And honestly, either way you go, you're going to be in good hands. Now, the AirPods Pro 2 are ultimately stronger in terms of noise cancellation, not exactly by a huge margin, but to me, it is noticeable. Now, one key distinction is that the Tour Pro 2 also have adaptive noise cancellation, which allows the earbuds to adjust based on the amount of noise taking place around you. So if you go from a really noisy area to a quiet area, the earbuds will assume that you no longer need as much noise cancellation and they'll reduce the overall strength. And the other way around, if you go from a quiet area to a noisy area. But like I said, the AirPods are able to cancel the most noise. So if noise cancellation is number one on your list of priorities, I'd say the AirPods are the clear choice. As far as transparency mode, if you saw my review of the Tour Pro 2, I was very impressed with how natural these sound. And initially, I thought these might be on the same level as the AirPods Pro 2. However, after some back and forth testing, I do think the AirPods Pro 2 still hold the crown for the most natural transparency mode. I'm also a really big fan of the AirPods adaptive transparency feature. And I've talked about this in multiple other videos. And essentially what this does is help eliminate or reduce loud sounds. So an example I like to use is if you're outdoors and it's extremely windy, rather than the transparency mode, taking that wind noise and just amplifying it into your ears, it's going to detect it and basically eliminate it. And then once the wind is done, it's going to go back to full transparency. And the Tour Pro 2 actually have this feature as well, but it only works for wind noise specifically. The difference is that with the AirPods, not only does it work for wind noise, it works for loud noises in general. So the earbuds are actively working to reduce any type of loud sounds to help protect your ears. Last but not least, let's talk phone calls and microphone performance. So in a quiet environment, either of these are going to be completely fine. Both microphones pick up the voice extremely well. I did an outdoor microphone test, which I'll play for you guys here shortly. And on this particular day, there was a decent amount of wind taking place and the way that the earbuds responded was definitely different. So with the Tour Pro 2, they didn't do as much in terms of eliminating the wind noise, but my voice was still completely clear and easy to understand. With the AirPods Pro 2, they did a much better job as far as eliminating the wind noise, but as a result, I don't think my voice sounded quite as clear, but I'll let you guys be the judge. All right, so right now, what you guys are listening to is a microphone test of the JBL Tour Pro 2. As you can see, we are outdoors and this should give you an idea as to how you would sound if you choose to use these for a phone call. All right, so now we have the AirPods Pro 2. Again, outdoor microphone test. So we'll compare this to the Tour Pro 2 and hopefully you guys can decide which one you think sounds better. So as usual, it really just depends on which aspects are most important to you when it comes to a pair of earbuds. If it's sound quality, I'd say go with the Tour Pro 2. If it's noise cancellation and transparency, I'd say go with the AirPods Pro 2, so on and so forth. So that pretty much covers it for today. Hopefully this video helped outline some of the key differences to make the decision a little bit easier for you. 
As always, I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.